What's up guys, my name is Ace, and I know I haven't really been showing multiplayer much love for Modern Warfare lately. It's been a lot of Warzone, because quite simply, that's what I've been enjoying playing. However, today we are going to be doing a dedicated multiplayer video, and I wanted to share what I consider to be the top 5 guns currently to use in multiplayer for Modern Warfare. Now, just like with all of these top five lists that I make, keep in mind these are my opinions based on my preferences, my experiences, and my playstyle. But of course, being the stats guy with Call of Duty, I do like to back up my opinions with some stats. So if you disagree, that's totally fine. I would love to hear your list in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's hop right into it and start it off with number five, and this is the MP7. Now, it's quite interesting that the MP7 is number 5 on my list, since it is my most used gun in Modern Warfare multiplayer at this point. But there's a reason that it's number 5 and not number 1, and this is quite simply, it doesn't have the fastest time to kill out there. It's got a very nice, fast, consistent, competitive time to kill, but it's not the fastest. This gun doesn't dominate up close, it's just very good in almost all situations. Now, I think the reasons I really like the MP7 is, first up, it's very accurate for an SMG. I feel quite confident challenging people at ranges that you would normally have no business challenging with an SMG, just because it's so accurate and also the iron sights are so great, so I don't tend to lose my target in my iron sights. But on top of this, we've got great handling, great mobility, a nice high rate of fire, so it's a pretty forgiving gun. If you happen to miss a couple shots, it's not that big of a deal because you're just putting those shots down range as fast as possible. And yeah, like I said, up close, it's not the fastest time to kill, but it's a very competitive time to kill. So I think that pretty much explains it for the MP7, and that's why it's at number 5 on my list. But moving on to the next one, this is a gun that recently got a bit of a nerf, but I still consider it to be a top 5 gun for multiplayer. This is the FAL. Now, early on in this game's life cycle, the FAL wasn't very good. It just had way too much recoil, it didn't handle very well, and there wasn't much reason to use it. However, throughout the seasons, the FAL's been getting buff after buff after buff, to the point where they even took it a little bit too far, and now they've recently nerfed it back a little bit. But this nerf that it recently got wasn't enough to severely impact its performance in multiplayer, as long as you're still hitting your upper torso or headshot multipliers. And with the FAL, in core game modes, you still have a one-shot kill potential to the head, which is pretty incredible for a gun with this kind of handling. And also, as long as you're hitting the upper torso shots, you have that two-shot kill potential, which is incredibly fast. You're going to be dropping people almost instantly as long as you're hitting upper torso. The only thing is, now with the FAL, you've got to make sure that you're not hitting them in the limbs. You've really got to try and hit that upper torso, because if you're missing that multiplier, then at that point, you're starting to fall behind many of the other guns in the game. So the FAL has a ton of killing potential, as long as you're precise and accurate, but I think another reason I have it on my list is I just really like semi-auto guns in Call of Duty. I have a pretty solid trigger finger, and I like the fact that I can take advantage of that good trigger finger to make a gun perform better than the average person can make it perform. So yeah, this might not make your list, but it absolutely makes mine. Now, moving on to number three on my list, this is actually one of the brand new guns with Season 5. This is the AN-94. Now, when it comes to Warzone, I'm not the biggest fan of the AN-94. I just don't feel like it works well when you're dealing with people that have armor. However, when we're looking at core multiplayer, the AN-94 is one of the best guns in the game. The key here, though, is you really want to try to make sure you're hitting your first three shots because those three shots are coming out significantly faster than all of the rest. If you are hitting these first three shots, your time to kill potential is nearly instant. It's 110 milliseconds, which is so much faster than almost any other full auto in the game. It's honestly about twice as fast as most of the assault rifles in this game, which is awesome in the right hands. The problem with this is it's not a super forgiving gun. If you are missing those first three shots, you suddenly have a below average assault rifle at that point. And I think that's one of the reasons I really like using it in multiplayer is I feel really rewarded for doing well with it because I know how punishing it can be if you aren't precise with your shots. So it's a high risk, high reward type of weapon that has a ton of killing potential if used properly. And it also just feels nice using something that isn't the standard traditional full auto with a standard rate of fire. It's got that hyper burst at the beginning, which just makes it a unique challenge to try and master. And I enjoy that with this gun. But with that, let's move on to number two on my list. And with number two, I actually put two guns together just because they are so similar that they might as well be basically the same gun for multiplayer. This is the M4A1 and the Ram 7 combined. Now these guns, like I said, are nearly identical. It's just that the Ram has more of a left-leaning recoil. It has a mirrored recoil pattern compared to the M4. But aside from that, they've got nearly the same rate of fire. The Ram is just negligibly faster. 
and this means they've effectively got the same time to kill potential. To top this off, both of these guns are just so consistently powerful at every single range. You can use these things up close against SMGs and do just fine. Then you can also use these things at really long range and they'll do just fine. So they're just those guns that are good everywhere. And to top that off, they have a great rate of fire potential, so they're quite forgiving. So yeah, I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. The M4 has always been a top tier gun. Same thing goes with Ram 7 since it's been added to the game. And even though many other guns have been getting buffs and we've had new guns coming into the game, that doesn't change the standing for these. They are still absolutely top tier for regular core multiplayer modes. So that's number two on my list, but before we get into number one, I always like to do an honorable mention here. Another gun that almost made the list, but not quite, is the Uzi with the 41 AE rounds. I really enjoy using this in multiplayer for a few reasons. First up, the Uzi has the highest movement speed potential in the entire game with the right attachment combination. You can make this thing so, so fast that you can be zipping around the map faster than anybody. But to top that off, with the 41 AE rounds, you have an amazing three-shot kill potential as long as you're hitting the upper torso. And while this, just like the MP7, isn't necessarily the fastest killing SMG up close, it's got that crazy range potential compared to other SMGs, so it really excels beyond those super close range situations against other SMGs. Once you get beyond about 8 to 10 meters, this is where the 41 AE rounds really shine on the Uzi, and you can even dominate assault rifles in those mid-range situations. So for me with this gun, it's really mainly about the mobility, but that great range potential doesn't hurt it. But with that, it's finally time to move into number one, and you probably could have guessed it by now since you haven't seen it on the list yet. And it's obviously going to be on this list. This is the MP5. This gun has always been the best since basically day one, and it's still the best in the game. This gun just has it all. It's got an incredibly fast time to kill potential up close. It's very accurate, easy to control at mid-ranges, and even long ranges, you can stretch it out just fine, I find. And then to top all of that off, of course, we've got SMG level handling and mobility, so you're gonna be out maneuvering assault rifles just fine while also killing them faster. And it's just got a great set of attachments as well. The Integral Monolithic Suppressor is an awesome choice that basically gives you a barrel and a suppressor combined, and you get all of those benefits mixed in there, plus you get 45 round magazines if you wanna use 9mm, or you could use 10mm if you want, but I personally tend to stick to the 9mm rounds. And yeah, like I said, I don't think this is going to be a surprise to anybody. The MP5 has always been great, and even after the few nerfs that it's been getting throughout the year, I would still consider this to be the best gun in the game. But with that, that's finally going to wrap it up for today's video on what I consider to be the top 5 guns to use in core multiplayer game modes. Of course, though, like I said, these are just my opinions. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what are your favorite guns to use in multiplayer for Season 5 of Modern Warfare? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.